Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth and seas, for you have made them. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Evening Prayer for Thursday, February the 7th, and the scripture for this service, Psalm 74, and Mark chapter 8, verse 27, to chapter 9, verse 1. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Why, God, have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. Psalm 74. Alleluia. Why, God, why have you cast us off forever? Why does your anger blaze so hot? against the sheep of your pasture. Remember your people whom you purchased long ago, the rod of your inheritance, which you have redeemed, this Mount Zion where you dwell. Lift your feet to the endless ruins. The enemy has laid waste to our sanctuary. Your enemies roar in the midst of your congregations, and they set up their ensigns as signs of victory. They have struck like men with axes in a grove of trees, and now they break down the carved work with axes and hammers. They have set fire to your sanctuary. They have defiled the dwelling place of your name. They have said in their hearts, let us destroy them. They have burned up all the places of God in the land. We see no sign, and there is no prophet. None among us knows how long it will last. O oh God, how long shall the adversary reproach? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you withhold your hand, even your right hand? Pluck it out of your bosom, for you are my ruler of old, working salvation in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your strength, and you broke the heads of the dragons in the waters. You broke the heads of Leviathan in pieces, and you gave him to be meat to the people inhabiting the wilderness. You split open the fountain and the flood, and you dried up mighty rivers. The day is yours, and the night also. You have established the moon and the sun. You have fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You have made summer and winter. Remember, O oh God, that the enemy has scorned, that foolish people have blasphemed your name. Do not deliver the life of your dove to the wicked. Forget not the congregation of your poor. Remember your covenant, for the caves of the earth are the habitations of cruelty. Do not let the oppressed return ashamed. Let the poor and the needy praise your name. Rise, O God, and plead your own cause. Remember how the foolish revile you all day long. Forget not the voice of your enemies. The tumult of those that rise against you increases continuously. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O God, why have you cast us off forever? Alleluia. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, beginning at verse 27. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, and on the way he asked his disciples, Who do people say that I am? And they answered him, John the Baptist, and others Elijah, and still others one of the prophets. And Jesus asked them, but who do you say I am? And Peter said, You are the Messiah. And Jesus sternly ordered them not to tell anyone about him. Then he began to teach them that the Son of Man must undergo great sufferings and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and to be killed, and after three days rise again. He said all this quite openly, 
and Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. But turning and looking at his disciples, he rebuked Peter and said, Satan, get behind me, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. He called the crowd with his disciples, and he said to them, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and to forfeit their life? those who are ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. Of them the Son of Man will also be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. And he said to them, Truly I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see that the kingdom of God has come with power. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon the earth, and your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor taken away. <clears throat> Create in us clean hearts, O God. Sustain us by your Holy Spirit, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gather us, O God, and save us from the adversary, that we may rise and praise you forever. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit, amen. Alleluia.